good morning it's six o'clock we're up bright and early in fact it's still dark outside because today we have a very long drive to istanbul yeah it's going to be a long drive but ultimately we could break it up but sometimes you just need to crack on and get the job done the sun's just coming up good morning Ago. Yeah, you right? Yeah, God, I sleep so well. Are you wearing Cheska's trousers? I have, yeah. That's slightly <laughs> wearing. Yeah. I'm amazed they fit, it's, Ben. It's, it's <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, it's been absolutely wonderful. Thank yeah, you so thank much. thank you. Have a safe trip. That's been amazing. Have a safe trip. Thank you. <laughs> Man hug. <laughs> yeah. Have a safe trip back. Hope you have a fantastic time back home. We'll see you somewhere. It's been absolutely amazing hanging out with those guys. It's been so much fun. We're so pleased that we finally met up in person and uh, they're gonna continue exploring the east of Turkey. Uh, we've got a flight time of 14 hours and 26 minutes back to Istanbul. Quite a drive. But before we do, we're just gonna quickly stock up with water. There we go. time in the morning the sun is just peeking up over the town now if you do make it to the east of turkey i would definitely recommend visiting Helfeti. so all the way in this region on both sides of the road are lots of trees and uh, they are actually pistachio trees because this region is turkey's pistachio region so if you like that this is the place to be ah! the coffee's set in there <laughs> Or if you want to marry one. <laughs> So we've just stopped off and uh, put some petrol in. We're just gonna stretch the legs. We've gotta be careful not to put too much petrol in because when we put her on a ship, she has to have less than a quarter of a tank. So we're just gonna put in a few hundred TL at a time and, uh, and, and pace ourselves. But I think we should have another coffee, love. What do you reckon? I'm already on it, baby. <laughs> Okay, it's 6.30 again. We didn't do the washing up, love. But I'll do that now. Oh no, do it when we get there. Okay. We slept like absolute babies after that drive yesterday. I didn't hear a thing last night. Did you hear anything? It's very dark. Where there you we? go, I can see you now. Morning. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we stopped, ended up stopping in a, a truck stop. Um, if you ever need a service stop, they're called Service Alani. And they'll have a sign of a mechanic a petrol station, um, food and parking, or you have um, Parky Alani, which is just food and a truck stop. 
so they're very very handy on the motorway and unlike the UK they're free we're, we're just making a coffee for the road you can tell the weather is changing here in uh, Turkey because freezing. they're going north I've opened all the blinds at the front and within minutes everything is <laughs> condensation -y. look I've literally just wiped it yeah and you can see we're, we're surrounded truck by trucks we're in a truck stop we are literally are we blocked in i know there's a gap over there we'll just have to do a bit of a slalom i'm a professional driver you are marianne anything so the flight time today is about three and a half hours four hours and then we should be uh, in istanbul all ready to get truly ready for shipping wow Woo. right quick maneuver between the lorries Truck stop, Trudy style. Oh, they all protected her. They all boxed us in to keep us safe. That's so sweet. Uh, got a feeling that it should be that I've way. Got a feeling it should be that Let's way. Let's see whether it's blocked in. And we hit the oh, open road. The and the moon's. Is, I love this time in the morning. I do too. Everybody's just waking up. Sun's thinking about coming up. Oh. You can tell we're coming north. Yesterday I was in my shorts. <laughs> and now there's ice or snow on the side of the road on those rocks there. We are 1500 meters high, which probably has something to do with it. So we're just coming into the outskirts of Istanbul. You can see all the ships out there. Truly we'll be on one of those soon. But how nice is it that the blue sky has just come out to welcome us back. Home, Mount Tepe car park. That's it, you may recognize this probably from a year or so ago. We're back uh, on the Asian side of Istanbul, parked in this huge car park. Actually, this track here was all being constructed last time we were here, so they finished it, which means no more building noise in the morning. And we're just down the road from Ursul, the man, the myth, the legend. Exactly. So uh, we're meeting up with Ursul t uh, tomorrow to sort out uh, all Trudy's engineering bits before we leave turkey so we're gonna leave you there and we will see you in the morning <laughs> good morning we have woken up here in istanbul the sun is going to shine today trudy is having a bit of last turkish love before we leave we're just waiting for ursul he's going to take us to a garage where we're going to get her a full service Okay, Ersa has just rocked up. I'll follow the wrong car! <laughs> Morning! <laughs> Last time we followed Ersa to a garage, a year ago, we followed the wrong Audi. I followed the wrong So don't do that again today. I'll try <laughs> this is when I start singing, Gunaiden, Gunaiden! <laughs> We've arrived. Looks like they specialise in vans. Okay, she even got new wipers. So this is where we got the van done. Oslem Automotive here in Istanbul. Ben them all done. So that was absolutely perfect. We've got truly fully serviced, a great garage. If you're ever in Istanbul, need to repair your van. It's a great place. Now we're going to try and see if we can find Trudy some new hubcaps uh, because we kind of killed hers and lost one in Georgia. We're following the right Audi. We are. There you go, so we got, we're gonna get some new hubcaps with Fiat. Did you like it? We like it. We're not sponsored by Fiat, but if you'd like to call me, <laughs> let me know. Marianne is like a <laughs> kid in a candy store. She's found the display of horns. Is Trudy gonna get a new horn? I think she should. What is that? <laughs> oh, these are nice. They've given us some stickers. A memory of Turkey. There you go. And a four by four. We were telling them the story that Trudy thinks she's a four by four, even though she's only a four by two. So, <laughs> That's your driving love. Jok teşekkürler. 
<laughs> so we've met up with Tolga for lunch and you may recognize this man as the man that made Chris eat cockroach. <laughs> uh, cockroach is sheep's intestines. We're gonna have sheep's intestines for lunch. Oh, How are you? It's a good thing. It's a good thing. The video did great. Okay, it's not very Turkish, but oh my lord, look at the size of that burger. We're catching up, having a quick bite to eat, enjoying our last few days in Istanbul Aww. before the adventure continues. And as Ursula says, the dream must go on, right? The dream must go on. <laughs> Thank you. Lovely to see you. Thank you, you too. <laughs> Looking forward to seeing you again here in Istanbul. Yeah. yeah. Call me. Call, sure. call me. <laughs> Just in case anyone was wondering, I don't do all the driving in Turkey, but when we're on filming days... <laughs> <laughs> I do drive. Yeah, I have to drive during filming days. But on long drives and drives where we're not filming, Chris is happy to take the realms. So this morning we have come for another Turkish breakfast. You may recognize this place from a previous video. We couldn't leave Turkey without having one big final Turkish breakfast with Elif and Ersel. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, after a fantastic breakfast, and how nice was it to see uh, the owner, Victoria, came down to see us. Yeah. It was lovely to catch up. We've come back to Trudy because we need to pack her up, get our backpacks packed, um, ready because if all goes according to plan, she should be being dropped off at the shipping port bright and early tomorrow morning. Let's see whether they'll let us leave tomorrow. I miss her already. <laughs> so uh, we've got a bit of We've got a bit of packing to do, but we are almost there. And it's funny because we've actually had to take and pack all the summer clothes and now we're all wrapped up in winter clothes, yeah. aren't we? It's so cold up here. And raining. And raining. So that was our last sleep in Trudy. Yeah, today she is being dropped off at the shipping port. We're just doing the last little bit of packing and uh, one of the things is your LPG gas tank has to be empty. So we have every gas ring on, the fridge on and open, and the heating on to try and use the last bit. It's showing that it's only on one bar. We've got an hour till Ursula comes to pick us up, so it should be good. And uh, just packing the last few bits away, getting the backpacks ready, and uh, then we'll be off. We're just packing the last few bits. I've put some paper in the freezer compartment because there's still a little bit of moisture in there and on the trays. But emptying the cupboard, we saw this. This brings back crazy, strange and fond memories. 95 days in the first isolation. How crazy is that? That was our little isolation in Dalian, but we were with Levent. So it wasn't really isolation with Levent. We were just hanging out with our friends. Um, yeah, gas is still on. We're just trying to get the last bit of gas out. Um, we were told different things, certificate, no certificate, you have to have it emptied, you don't have to have it emptied. But basically they said get it as low as you can and we don't need a certificate. So, But that differs on depending which shipping company you're going with, so check first. Okay, 6.45, we've met up with Ursul and we're heading to the shipping port. One thing we're not going to miss is Istanbul traffic and even this time in the morning, like all cities, it's a nightmare. <laughs> okay, the sun has come up and uh, you can see all the shipping ports all the way along the coast here. We've still got about half an hour's drive just to the end of this stretch of water here. Trudy's going to go on one of those boats. I know, it's hard to think that Trudy's going to be going on one of those She's boats. She's going on her own adventure. Okay, so we're just arriving down in the shipping port. The first stop is to go to customs to make sure that um, they check in the vehicle, but also they update our records so that when we go to the airport, we have permission to leave the country without the vehicle. Otherwise things get really complicated. We're also going to be able to check to see whether there are any uh, driving fines. Yeah, speeding tickets, Marianne. Speeding tickets. 
ticket <laughs> any um, fines for the toll roads that we didn't get um, sorted at the time we should be all right. I think we should be good. Yeah. They they would have checked all that when we went to uh, Georgia recently. So uh, and that was that was all good. So it's only the last couple of months. Autoport. Autoport. Oh, interesting. All the barriers. So we'll have to park up here. Okay. So we should be, I think, at customs. Um, so we'll leave the camera and we'll update you in a minute or in an hour once we have some news. Okay, all of the customs checks have been done, the paperwork's all been completed. Thank God we have Mr. Ursel because without Ursel it would have been a little bit complicated. Thank you, Ursel. <laughs> um, so now we're just going to wait, we're going to give the keys over um, to one of the guys from the port. Marianne's just doing a final check on the van to make sure that we haven't forgotten anything. And, uh, and then we'll leave Trudy and uh, we'll be reunited with her in about three weeks time. That's it, Marianne's just driving Trudy into the port. Okay, it's all done. Trudy has officially left Turkey. She's in the port. It was a bit of a complicated process. Like I said, thank God we have Mr. Ursel. Um, but yeah, make sure you have all your documents, your car documents, even your insurance, and take cash because the boat has been delayed for a few days and we had to pay some extra parking costs to the shipping company to look after Trudy for that extra time. Uh, and they don't take credit card. So a good tip is always make sure you have enough cash. Luckily, Ursel did. <laughs> That's it. The road trip's over. It's finished. You can leave now. Seriously, you don't want to be late to Istanbul. 